Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Aquarius, for the week of January 16th. If you like this video, Aquarius, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. So grateful if you have already. Thank you so much. Let's get you a moon oracle card for up in the ether for Aquarius spirit. What's going on with Aquarius? Step out of your comfort zone, the North Node. <laughs> it's not easy for Aquarius. <laughs> and it's time to release negativity, the full moon in Scorpio. Beautiful. All right. Let's see what this is all about. What is this for Aquarius? That a little bit. All right. What kind of animal spirit guide is walking with Aquarius? What kind of animal spirit is walking with Aquarius? They just wanted me to shuffle more, I guess. Oh, the black egg wanted to come out. And the fox. Wow, look how beautiful this energy is. Very wise, Aquarius. Very wise. And the swan on the bottom of the deck, seeing all sides of something seeing the other side of something. Wow. Let's see what that's all about. Let's get you a Zen tarot card for up in the ether for Aquarius. Aquarius. Let's see. Comparison. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. Comparison. The thief of joy. <laughs> And morality on the bottom of the deck. Wow. The Queen of Swords comes out. Hmm. 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 What is this about Aquarius? All right. What are you thinking about Aquarius? What is on your mind? What is on your mind? Queen of Swords. Yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Some kind of morality test, some kind of lesson coming into you here, Aquarius. Some kind of lesson coming into the mind space here that clears up things, clears away the clutter, the confusion. Let's see. What else? What else for Aquarius in the mind space? What else, spirit, for Aquarius? Queen of Wands wanted to come out. Knight of Pentacles. Very slow-moving energy, but very solid energy. So... You are on the right track with something here, Aquarius. You've been thinking about something, thinking about getting something going here, but for some reason it goes against your brain or it makes you feel uncomfortable. I saw that one come out, but I just wanted to see. No. Six of Cups, the soulmate energy comes in. Memories, thinking back, nostalgia, really looking back at things now. How did I get here? How did I even get to this decision? There's some kind of decision that's coming in here that you're really thinking about. It goes against your brain. And I don't think you want to even be thinking about this, but here it is. And the high priestess on the bottom of the deck. So thinking back, thinking back, being very nostalgic. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Boy, you're really focused on this, Aquarius. It's all you can think about here is some kind of plan or some kind of idea that's really taking up your mind space here really coming into focus now might be to do, might have to do with a relationship with the six of cups here but there's growth you're definitely seeing the growth you're seeing the final result of something and now you have to make some kind of decision about it let's see let's see anything else in the mind space for aquarius Queen of Pentacles. Wow, you're really going inside, really trying to figure this out. You've been thinking about this for a long time, but you are absolutely gaining some clarity here, gaining some enlightenment here with the Hanged Man energy coming into the mind space. <clears throat> really contemplating something, really thinking about which way to go here or which is true to you. How do I stay true to my authentic self and go for this dream or go for this goal? It's kind of conflicting for you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. How does your heart feel about this? What's in the heart space for Aquarius? What are you feeling, Aquarius? What are you feeling? Three of Cups. Look at this. The friendship group comes in. The support group comes in. 
and uh, are really supporting you here, really seeing that you are the queen of swords. Now you've battled, you've gone through something. And so your friends and family are there to support you in this new um, adventure of yours or some kind of new adventure that you're trying to really ponder here, really figure out here. Wow, interesting. <laughs> what else in the heart space for Aquarius? Tell me about Aquarius. Wow, the cards are so messy here, Aquarius. <laughs> are you feeling chaotic? Are you feeling like you don't really know how to even start thinking about this? <laughs> the fool, the fool comes into the heart space. You're ready to take this leap of faith. You're ready to go all in on someone here, on some kind of contract here. You've been thinking about it for a while, trying to decipher how you really feel about this. But now here comes the heart space, wanting to start over, wanting to have this fresh start without all of the memories behind you, without the uh, baggage here. So you are ready, ready to take a leap of faith here. Mm. That's exciting. Ready to just jump in. No testing the waters, no, <laughs> no maybes here. You're ready to go all in on something and see it grow, see this relationship grow. So yeah, there's like a reunion here. There's a, a reunion in the mind space anyway of what would happen if I reconnected with this person. How would that make me feel? You're really trying to figure that out. I think this person... Um, took something from you or made you feel small in some way, shape or form, and you're growing your confidence back. Now you're growing your uh, peace back about this relationship and really watching it grow now, wanting to see it grow and expand and not just go through the same patterns that you've gone through for a very long time with the hanged man. Some kind of do over here, some kind of restart here in a relationship that what happens if we just let go of the past, if we just erase the past here and forget about what we've been through or the lessons we've been through? What if we come together as two different people, which you are now because you've gone through such a growth process here? You've learned so much and absorbed so much here. So now you're ready to see this grow, but in a completely different way. It's not uh, let's be like we used to. It's we're different now. We've changed now. So where do we go now? And I think that's what you're really pondering here. Where do we go now? two of swords there's that decision coming in that um do i look at this even anymore it's been a really long time that i've looked at this i've really deciphered it you're such a balanced sign you're the eternal judge aquarius so you're really wanting to make this work you're really wanting to not look at the past to forget the past let's let it go let's let all of it go and find some forgiveness here so that we can grow new seeds we can grow new ideas and and um values and uh character and integrity together let's let's build on that now let's build on that instead of going back and trying to get to the root cause of everything there's a root cause need here for someone let's get to the root cause of this and uh, the other side of it is let's just let it go let's just let it go and start over here mm, can you do that can you do that what else in the heart space for aquarius Seven of Wands. Look at this. You are guarded about it, though. You are thinking about this. It makes you um, feel um, nervous. You're a little bit nervous. You're, you're very, very smart to really, really think about this. Do I want to invest more time? Do I want to invest more of my heart once again when there's so much more out there to jump into, when there's so much more out there to learn? Have I learned uh, have I gotten everything out of this relationship that ha can be gotten out of this? And that's what you're really pondering. Maybe it's just um, too late now. Maybe there's nothing left to grow here. And so you go back and forth with this. You, you really, really care about this person. There's a soul connection here, a soul bond here. But you're very, very hesitant to look at the past here, to, to have a new start with this person. You're not quite trusting that this person has changed as much as you have. <laughs> excuse me wow 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 this is a really deep connection it goes back a long time there's a lot invested in this relationship and you're just really hesitant to look back at it yeah look at this with the tower in the foundation 
foundation, something came in and just boom, this, ex this explosion of the emotions, this explosion of the mindset here too, of where you were going with this, that path has just been obliter obliterated <laughs> and it's like, do we do it again? Do we do it again? Do we repeat those same patterns or do we get the transformation out of this relationship and move on in a completely different way? Wow, that is something. Look at this. It's spirit came in and just changed something drastically for you. It just came out of the blue for you. And while you were pondering it, while you were trying to decide, what do I do here? Some kind of revelation or some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, information came in and bam, it just blew it all up here. Wow, wow, wow. What else in the foundation for Aquarius? What is this about spirit? The Knight of Cups, again, about a relationship, about opening yourself up again, about sharing your heart again and your feelings and your emotions after this event. How do you do that? So you're really trying to figure that out. How do I even do that? Or do I just cut the bond? Do I just move on, let them be them and me be me, and then maybe in the future come back together? But that's the pondering that is going on now. That's the deciding factor right now is what do I do now that I have this information? Now that it's so clear, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it was almost better off when you were confused. <laughs> Look at this Aquarius with the death and rebirth. Wow, this, uh, this event changed you. It changed you forever. You're never going to be the same again. That's why you have the fool in your heart space. You are completely transformed now. It's not that you're going through a transformation. You're transformed. You are the butterfly now. You've gone from the chrysalis state to out of the cocoon into the butterfly. Now you're completely different. This event changed you forever. It changed something in your heart space with the fool here forever and in your mind space because this information came in it. It lit things up. It allowed you to see. So even though that event may have been shocking and may have been um, really knocked you off your path, at least what you had planned here, it was absolutely for the best because you are changed now. You are uh, filtering everything differently now. You're a brand new person now, Aquarius, and it's beautiful. It's glorious because you're seeing everything differently. You're seeing absolutely the other side of things with that swan energy. <clears throat> And it's glorious. It's glorious. It's a new day for you. You get to absorb all of the energies without reliving the energies. Now you're not reliving. That's why you're hesitant to look into the past here. And who needs that? Who needs to relive any traumas or relive any uh, uh, emotional um, chaos here? So there's no need to. There's no need to. You're very, very smart with the Fox energy not to look at the past here. Just let the new day come in let the new tide come in and see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Look at this with the Knight of Swords. You have really opened up to people about this transformation too. It's not a secret to anyone in your life here, Aquarius, of what you've gone through here. It's very evident that you've gone through a total transformation here and that you're a different person here. So accept yourself in this new, um, personality of yours, this new character of yours. You are filled with morality. You are filled with the lessons learned now. You're very, very wise now. You've gained the enlightenment from this. So it's okay to be open about it and to allow people to um, see who you are. I know that makes you uncomfortable to have people really know you or really see you. And that's exactly what's happening now. You're coming into a period of your life where people can really see you and who you are and what uh, what you're going for here. Look at this with the Empress, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles in your foundation. Like I said, a brand new start, brand new you makes you feel very disjointed, very disconnected because you're not even sure who this new person is. <laughs> it's like, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Aquarius. I'm Aquarius. <laughs> but it is glorious, Aquarius. This was so needed in your life to get to another uh, realm here, to get to another timeline here, to jump through it so that you could have this new life now, this new awareness, this new um, way of yours now to really move forward into your life experience here and to claim it as yours and uh, good and bad, it is mine. And I'm going to create a new experience for myself now. I'm going to start over. I'm going to start over and create a new experience for myself.
<gasps> Look at temperance on the bottom of the deck. Really, really urging you. Spirit is absolutely urging you on here. Aquarius, giving you the strength that you need, giving you that sword of truth and that balance that you needed here to really change things up now. There's nothing that's going to be the same for you any longer. No more repeating patterns. That is over. You're never going to repeat one of those negative patterns again because you're just so far beyond it. You're not even thinking about those patterns. You're not even looking at um, the past any longer to try to figure out how to break those patterns. Bam, that tower came in and just broke those patterns. You had no choice in the matter. Spirit handled all of this to break down that, um, that wall that you had up that don't let them see, don't let, don't let them see who I am here. Don't, don't let them see who I'm at, at the raw core. Don't show them my underbelly here because you were so fearful that somebody was going to come stomp on that underbelly of yours. And it happened anyway, as protective as you were, as much as you fought change, as much as you fought this transformation, it happens anyway. It happens to all of us. It wasn't just you, but there's that moment that you're never going to forget in your life that that awareness, that awakening, that enlightenment moment that, oh my God, I did not see that coming. I, I was so focused on this. I never saw this coming. And it made you aware that you can't control that. You can't protect yourself enough from the hardships of life. It's going to find us, especially when we're so protective of it because the law of attraction is kicking in and whatever you're so fearful of, you're so focused on that fear that it kind of brings it into reality. So now that you're focused on different things and, and this future path, this do over this, um, can I do this again, but in a completely different way, then, then the law of attraction is kicking in and bringing you all these new seeds to grow here, bringing you all of these new awarenesses without even showing you the root cause of it. That's gone. Now you don't care. You don't care how it started. You just know it ended. And you're very grateful for that. You're very, um, um, taking care of you very much taking care of yourself now Aquarius and really nurturing yourself now and trying to get to know this new you and these new reactions of yours and these new awarenesses of yours it is so beautiful it's like you're the master of energy now because you've been through something here wow what are people thinking about Aquarius Three of Pentacles. Wow, they really do um, want to see you rise up here, want to see you be that leader. They do understand that you have different messages now. You have different um, awarenesses that you are sharing with people. You have different experience now to share with others of what you've been through here. So it's very well received because, like I said, everybody goes through this in their lifetime and um, they see this elevation from you now. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. King of Pentacles, they also see you as the King of Pentacles. Wow, this is beautiful. There's a leader in your life as well, somebody who's stepping up and um, really honoring this new um, found freedom of yours, newfound freedom from the past here. You're really, really cutting ties with the past here. Maybe there's somebody that you keep thinking back on that really was a catalyst for this change, but um, that is really easing. It's really fading fast for you because of these new experiences is coming into you. Spirit is hand delivering new experiences for Aquarius here. And it's not um, any more harsh lessons. It's not any more out of the blue here. Bam, Aquarius, we're going to show you. You can't protect yourself enough from it. So that's done. You're done with that fear of vulnerability and you're moving on. It's really solid, um, sure of yourself and others around you energy. Look at this, Aquarius. The fool comes out right over your full energy here in the mind space of others. Wow, a brand new beginning all around, especially with that soulmate, with that energy you've been thinking back on with the catalyst here that really showed you very early on that you have to protect yourself, that you can't show people what you're feeling here. You don't want to look weak to anyone. And so you put this armor on you and you've been wearing it for a very long time and spirit came in and just ripped off the armor and showed you that you can't do that. You can't protect yourself from um, all of the hardship of life because then you're protecting yourself from all of the glory of life and all of the good things of life coming into you. So you were protected against all here. And so spirit just needed you to um, take off that armor, take off that armor. Wow. I love this. I love this new start for you, Aquarius. It's so beautiful. I'm really loving this. 
Ten of Swords. Look at this. The betrayal coming into their mind space here. People are just going through things and that's just a no-brainer. Everyone has felt betrayed in these last couple of years because we, as a, as a collective, we were so um, certain that we had the answers to our own experience here, that we knew which way we were going to go, that we could see ourselves in 10 years and we would be here. And we had this, this goal, you know, it was like people and, and an interview would say, where, where do you see yourself in five to 10 years? And you had that clear path. You knew where you were going to be in five to 10 years, but then spirit came in and, and changed all that up for you. So of course it made you feel disjointed with the page of cups here, disconnected. It was like, wow, what do I, I really have no control here. I really don't have any control here. And so that was very unnerving, that loss of control here. But then there was a surrendering that happened. There was a, okay, I have no control here. So I may as well just um, live in the moment, live in the moment and not try to predict my future anymore, good or bad, just live in the moment because life is very shocking <laughs> while we're focused on one thing, while we're so focused on one thing here comes something else to take us down here like the ten of swords shows on the ace of wands where there was so much focus there was so much intent put on something and then bam something from the universe came out of the blue and really was upsetting really was shocking but it really um, allowed you to let down your guard here to throw up the flag to say I, I don't have any of the answers that I thought I did here it was a true surrendering a true true surrendering to spirit here. Strength comes into the mind space. I love that Leo energy and the, uh, the number eight card, the infinity card here. So this is going to be long lasting. Now this is going, this new, um, outlook on life, this new letting go, this new surrendering is going to be part of you now, Aquarius. There's no going back. There's no going back. <laughs> What's in their heart space? What's in their heart space? The five of pentacles feeling left out, feeling like I'm living in poverty. I don't have enough. And that's again, coming down to the prediction of the future that I had a plan here though. I had a plan and it just all fell apart. So yeah, that's the, again, another card of don't fall into that mentality that there's not enough because in this moment you have everything you need. You have this, all of the tools and resources and skills to have a do over here, to start over here in this new form of your you're not the same again. And some people are still falling back to that old mentality, that pattern of there's not enough though. I tried, I did my best and there's nothing I can do. They're, they're, they're surrendering as well, but in a different way that you have surrendered here. Wow. That's interesting. What else? What else in the heart space for Aquarius? Four of Cups. Look at this. They're very apathetic. They're in this moment now where it's just like, I don't care. Everybody betrays me. Everything goes wrong for me. And there's that focus again. This Four of Cups is so focused on those Three of Cups. They're not seeing the gift from God here. They're not seeing the hand of God with that Fourth Cup here. So... And then the, the five of cups, these three cups spill over and there's two cups behind this character here, but they, he can't see it. He can't see it because he's just looking at what's lost in the five of cups. In the four of cups, he's not looking at what's lost. He's looking at what he has and it means so much to him and he doesn't want those cups to spill and he's going to focus on them and he's going he's gonna to make them stay in place and he's going to make that, that life of his the way, exactly the way he planned it out to be and that just can't happen. It just can't happen. And those three cups are going to get kicked over from man or spirit here. And it happens every time. And then your focus is on something else. Your focus is on rebuilding now, rerouting now, finding different seeds now. So that's exactly what they're going through. Hanged man, of course, because they keep repeating this pattern. There's a re repetition of pattern happening here where they can only see what's lost. They can't see the enlightenment gained. They can't see this full energy just yet because they're still so busy looking at the past and what happened here and how they were left out and how they were so focused on one thing when spirit came in and, and changed it all up on them. So they're just not dealing with this change very well yet. The hermit, the hermit, they're going inside now. They're trying to find the answers now. They're trying to find 
the reasons why things happen. They're still looking for that root cause of things where you're not looking back. You can't do that. You have the blindfold on. Spirit put the blindfold on. You see the birds holding the blindfold there. Spirit put the blindfold on. They can't have you, Aquarius, looking at the past anymore. They need you to turn around. They need you to look at the future here and all the gifts, all of the rewards now that are in store for you. It's time to look forward to something. It's time to have hope again and to look forward to something instead of looking at what's been lost. But this person is just looking at what's been lost. They can't seem to move on from him. It's it's a, a toxic pattern for them. Look at the devil on the bottom of the deck of all the betrayals that have happened, of everything that has gone wrong, how every time they tried to start over, they got knocked off again. And it's like, I got to start over. I got to start over. It's very scorpionic energy here with the start overs, with the death and rebirth, with the Scorpio energy here. It's like, I can't do it again. I can't start over again. You're not doing that Aquarius because you're not looking back at the past. So there's no comparison to the future here. Like this person is doing, this person is dictating their future by looking at their past here. And so they figure, of course, it's going to move into my future. Of course, all of these woes, all of this betrayal, all of this uh, poverty mentality is going to be my future because it's all I can see. It's all they're looking at here where you're not looking at that. It's almost like it didn't happen. It's almost like you are numb from it where they are really feeling the emotions of that past and what they've been through here. Page of Swords. Wow, look at this. They're still looking at the past. <laughs> <laughs> they are still looking at the past. They're feeling it. Like I said, with you, there's no, when I said there's no sense in, in reliving any traumatic moments, they keep reliving it. They keep letting their heart go there. They keep letting their mind go there. And then they're sitting there crying and sobbing like it happened just a minute ago. It doesn't matter how many years ago it happened for them. It's like it's happening to them right now because they're reliving it. They're reliving it over and over again. They'll get out of that like we all do. There'll be some tower moment coming in for them and it will teach them that we can't do that. We can't live our lives just looking in the rearview mirror. Sooner or later, we've got to look through the windshield. We've got to look through the windshield and forget what we're passing by, forget what's, lo what's lost to us, what is gained, what's in the future, what's coming to me here. And that's what's happening with the sun for them in the foundation here. This moment really did, when it was a moment of shock for you, it really was an opening and a revelation for them. It was, a, oh my God, I, I better do this. I better do this. Look at that. There's the five of cups to prove my point. You see those three empty cups there when that's all that this figure could focus on. And now look, now look, all he can focus on is the three empty cups here. He's ignoring the two, which is the six of cups, which you have up here in your mind space. So this person is not thinking about um, a future with you. They're only looking about what happened in the past with you. They are gaining enlightenment though. You see the enlightenment here in this figure. So isn't that interesting? That is so interesting that it comes out right in my example of it, but they're looking at what What's lost absolutely looking at what's lost queen of swords look at this this person has very sharp words and can really hurt and sting and uh, their guard is up their defenses are up they're defending their lives right now they're defending their experiences right now they're saying yes but it's true I'm not making this up this did happen to me and they're defending their choices and they're defending their um, their fear they're defending their fear here because it's coming out right. She's looking at the Knight of Swords here while you're speaking your mind, while you're speaking your emotions. And here's what I've been through and here's what I've learned. There are, there's the harsh words coming at you for doing that, for doing that. People don't do that, they're telling you. People don't just tell the world who they are. And that keeps them in a cloud of confusion here with the moon energy. They're just not ready for this rebirth, but they haven't had this tower moment like you have. They haven't had that personal transformation moment that comes in for all of us. It will come in for this person, but they haven't had it yet. So they're still confused. They're still defending their themselves here. They're still um, defending their choices here, which of course we all do. That's not, um, uh, that's not unfamiliar to any of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, but it's true. How do I ignore it? How do I just use the law of attraction and ignore what's happened to me? And you need this moment. You need this shock and awe kind of moment to learn how to do that, to learn how to just let it go, how, to, how there's no control over the past. We have no control over what has happened, but we do have control over our future here. And this person is going to have this moment because here's the wheel of fortune for them. Here
here is the change. Here is the click of the clock here to say, wake up, wake up. You've got to move on here. You've got to surrender this fear to spirit and and uh, re, re, have a redo yourself, have a transformation, transform yourself here. Spirit is absolutely urging this person to have a transformation here. So it has to do with their morality. I can tell you that. It has to do with their fight in their mind and in their heart of what is true to them, following their true light here. They have a real um, problem doing that because they're very rigid in what they've been through here and defending what they've been through here, defending their choices here. So very interesting. But spirits coming in and you're on this card so you are a catalyst for their change aquarius here and um it was a lesson that just needed to be learned so yeah some kind of moment caused this huge transformation for you absolutely for the best here absolutely for the best because of this awareness and this opening up and this no more comparison of your future to your past now you're letting that go you're just letting go of any preconceived notion of what your future is going to be now you're letting it come to you you're not trying to control how it happens so that's so beautiful this person is a soulmate to you they have a soulmate connection with you and maybe that's why it feels so intense and so strong look at the seven of swords underneath there too they're still trying to 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 defend they're they're just full of defenses here so <laughs> interesting all right aquarius i hope you like this reading if you did don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe buttons i really really appreciate you watching this and i hope you have a fantastical week aquarius i will definitely tune in soon